trying to pay for my lifestyle. Everything gone wrong. That like, everyone thinks I'm skinny. Yeah, Mint. I'll post that. So here we have Bevo, a man of many wisdoms who shot up to popularity by inhaling a roast dinner. He stayed true to himself for a bit, then it's safe to say the fame kind of went to his head. He went from inhaling farmers markets to outing himself as a cuck on a huge podcast to public relationship issues, which has now found him in the position of dating a spicy content creator. But after lying about going homeless and then getting his teeth done, it all kind of went downhill for Brandon Beavers. Now that's a very short and sour view into the career of Bevo, so I'm going to go over it all for you. But I want to start with the latest thing that he's done. He uploaded a really weird video of him and a very young looking girl in a Five Guys. He starts being all cringe and she's clearly laughing at him. Now I know what you're thinking, he's got to be cancelled for good now, right? That girl is a child. But for the Bevo haters out there, your prayers have not been answered. Because that's his sister. I also thought that was a lie at first, I really did. But it turns out he's been reposting her videos where it actually says that they are related. Get the fuck out my motherfucking tripod. So do you not like your brother then? This whole thing just feels really weird. Like there's some videos that she's done where it would feel a bit weird for me as an adult to put in my video. But it kind of seems like he's reposting videos where she says she's looking for a man. Imagine advertising your sister's availability. You can be a cuck for your girlfriend, but not for your sister. I have the three musketeers, I want a quick question. Listen, no. what do you think of TikTok? No. Is it a job? Is TikTok a job? No, mate. Why? It's a joke. What, when, when I'm earning 20 grand a month? Yeah, because people on 20 grand a month resort to public interviews. He's gone down the bait out skets road and I'm afraid there is no coming back for Bevo. But the whole concept of his video is to prompt an excuse to say how much he allegedly earns. Like yeah, if someone is on 20 grand a month, which Bevo is not, fair play. I don't think if you did earn that sort of money, you'd go around shouting about it. Kind of makes you a target. And the guy in the video is literally telling him to piss off. He said he doesn't want to be in the video. I don't want to be on video. I respect it, have a good one. That's why I never make money, because you don't want to be on video. Ah yes, the only way to make money in life. Be in video. I can't lie, this desperation is quite sad to see. Like, there was a time where this guy was, weirdly, on his way to being a household name in the UK. I know it is funny to hear that now. Because all he did was put thing in mouth, and now it seems like everything that comes out of his mouth is a load of rubbish. But this video here is on about 260k views, which sounds like a big number, right? But on TikTok, it's not really the case. You're going to need a lot more views than that to be earning 20k a month. So effectively, Bevo is just lying to everyone, and we all know it. But with someone earning 20 grand be doing four promotions in a row what's happening guys some bevo here i just wanted to announce i'm attending the dr pelling uk tour for the uk smiles she's got her own company now um regarek I don't know if I said that right. Rene, Rene Garek. If Bevo was a dog, you would have put him down long ago. But imagine paying Bevo to advertise your brand and he doesn't even know how to say it. Bevo back again with the teeth whitener. If you want gleaming teeth like myself. How could I resist getting gleamering teeth? Also wonder if he's going to review the Tampax. You know the rules. Big up the menstruators. And you're not fooling anyone, Bevo. We all know your teeth aren't real. And even then, you still use teeth whitening filters. So maybe don't mislead your viewers. But to be fair, if you're buying teeth whitening from a Bevo ad, you need to give your head a wobble. But the thing is, he'll do these shitty promotions because rent is obviously due. I can't blame a guy for just wanting to earn a living, but he clearly has no idea what to post. Because even though he says he hates it, he'll still just randomly sprinkle in his dinner videos. Dinner. You know the rules. Back at home, Sophia's kicked me out. Yeah, just drop that one in. She's finally done with you advertising razors and looking like Jack Grealish with an awful hangover. So you go back to old reliable. Dinner. I'm gonna guess it's a 7 out of 10. Chip Shop ch a Thursday. We need to do Chip Shop Tuesday again. We're trying to do it uh, next week when I'm here. So Chip Shop Thursday, 7 out of 10. You know the rules. Not Chip Shop Tuesday. I'll be sure not to miss that. And of course it's 7 out of 10. Everything is. I wonder if your girlfriend says that after she sleeps with your mates. But is it just me or does he always sound like he's got a cold? Maybe it's a long-term side effect of just swallowing potatoes and sausages for a living. The views are dropping and everyone's saying I've filled it off. So, um, yeah, I've had to take you into the job centre. <laughs> um, here we go. Uh, my views are dropped, so I, I need a job. Someone help me. Cheers! <laughs> Not sure why you left. You probably should have stayed for their advice. Wait, 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 wait. I just let the video play again, right? He's just looped this video over and over again until it reaches a minute. He's that shameless. He'll just play the same video over and over again so he gets paid. What would the original Bevo think of this? When the Bevo I know sat there swallowing his roast potatoes on Christmas, he would never have faked anything. That man kept it real and he certainly knew the rules. Social media is a joke. I don't even like my job anymore. I'll be honest. I'm a TikToker and that, yeah, fair play. I earn money, fair play and that, but... 
the hate I get, the hate Sophia gets, it's just dreadful. Why can't people be happy for one another? The same man who kept filming a guy who asked not to be in his videos purely so he could flex his earnings. You're sad because you've fallen off. Your views are down and you've got a permanently damaged digital footprint. But it's all you're doing. Everyone warned you that you were going down a path of no return. I think you'll find that through the years, people who randomly blow up through short form content, they never really understand how much the stuff they got relevant for sticks to them as a person. And all of the fuck ups that you make trying to stay relevant, they don't leave either. So in Bebo's case, what company would employ him? But he literally just said he doesn't want to post stuff, right? Well, the next morning. Breakfast. Sudden burst of motivation overnight, was it? But he has done another one of these deep videos. I get I have to put on this character for TikTok and the hate I get, the hate she was getting... I just don't think we can deal with it anymore, you know? Just stop then. No one's asking you to make videos where you come across as a dickhead. You've just filmed yourself walking into the job center where there's people genuinely desperate to find work, just doing a little twirl and walking out. And you expect people to think that you're not a knob. And the fact that you're now going after random people and harassing them just to tell them how much you earn. It's why no one will ever have sympathy. You can't just do a little sigh and a moan when things aren't going well. And you get a little bit of confidence and then you just carry on being a prick. Just put the fries in the bag. And it's a Bebo bowling, you know the rules. It's a I don't get a strike, it ain't a 7 out of 10. Literally a day later, anybody feel sorry for him? Bevo's trying to be relevant. He's a melt. Mate, I've made it already, bro. I'm living in my lovely apartment. 3 o'clock in the morning, just all of the cheeky mackers. Ah yes, the clear sign of wealth. A McDonald's on Uber Eats. We're all so jealous. But get used to how they packed it, Bevo, because that's your job soon. I've got a 3 grand PC set up. I've got clothes that I don't even wear. I've got jewels in the safe I don't even wear. Cool story, bro. We literally don't care. And let's be honest, you only have clothes that you don't wear because you only know one outfit. And you don't wear your jewels because you know you'll get robbed. And fellas, is a free grand PC really that much of a flex? Most TikTokers flex supercars. This guy's flexing a 4060. I've done my graft. I've blown up. I've got my 1.4 million followers. I've got a two and a half grand dog. Flexing a dog. I can't be arsed, man. It's definitely going to end up like Molly May's dog. Lasts about two minutes and packs it in. Which is uh, nothing to be ashamed of. Or is that just Bevo's career? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I give up. Well played, guys. If you don't be nice to these sort of people like myself, you're never going to get nowhere in life. So just remember that. Stay humble. Yeah, guys, be sure to stay humble. Funny thing to say, literally just after flexing a dog and a PC setup and jewels and clothes. But yeah, be humble and be nice to Bevo or you'll never get anywhere in life. I find it really weird how this guy acts so afraid of work. Anybody who is so anti nine to five, like for some reason they feel the need to insult the average worker. You just look like you're incapable and you're most likely insulting half your audience. But Bevo's idea of graft is talking a load of shit in a nightclub. Oh, guys, I think Bevo's fell off. I've been booked down Barry at Cabanas and no one's turned up. I don't know what to do. Have I fell off? Have I not? What do I do from here? Time to get a job. Aha, crazy prank, you got us. But he did that thing again where he just loops the video like four times because his bank's crying. It's just cell phone after cell phone with Bevo. But once again, he made a video to be like a middle fingers up to people who say mean things about him on the internet. But then he couldn't handle the people saying things back to him. Uh, I just, oh. I'm not saying the haters are one, but my head is hurting from social media. Brother, you just did a Gotham post to the haters. Now you're crying that the haters responded. What did you expect the outcome to be? Ah, you know what, Bevo? Fair play. A nightclub singing someone else's song. You got us there. But on the topic of other people's songs, people were saying stuff to Bevo, like, you just sing other people's songs and you get paid for it. He kind of took that to heart and started doing his own raps. I right, listen, should Bevo bring back the singing? Uh, no, I probably wouldn't bother, mate. Didn't understand the love I was gonna live. Bevo in the scene, going everywhere, trying to find Fly away, got my missus in a private jet. Look at me, look at me, look at you. One, two, three, G. God is fucking tragic, isn't it? And literally last week, you were on an easy jet, mate. Hey, this is Bevo part two. Get on a drill beat. Let's get this freestyle going. Bevo in the booth. Um, you're in bed. Valley on my head. Look at your head. Going down the road. Skip, put, put the dead. You know what? Maybe Alphabet isn't so bad at singing after all. Bebo in the booth, couldn't see your mum poof, yo, your daddy's dead. Top three rappers Eminem was too afraid to diss. But those raps I just played there is across like three or four videos. He did a minimum of three of these and thought, yeah, sick, I'll post that. Yo, Bebo with the belly on. It, it, it's not. Why is Bebo so hated? He never knew he could be hated. 
Everyone dissing me, I didn't know how to cancel free. Wow, Bevo bars. Good to know you'd be shit at tipping point though. Drop zone four is completely out of bounds because he can only counter three. Don't worry, Bevo, you can still play the chase. You know what? I wouldn't put it past him. But to end off, I want to talk about him now going down the influencer boxing route. Because of course he did. Anybody who falls off or blows up too quick always ends up on misfits. But basically, he was supposed to fight Danny Aarons, which to be fair to Bevo, probably would have been a good career move. Because Danny is a lot more popular and a lot more relevant. And Bevo's always managed to find a way to attach himself to the angry ginge Danny Aarons sort of duo. And to be fair, that is probably the only reason people still talk about him today. But basically, after it looked like for a while that Bevo was messing around the contract negotiations, the fight was set to happen, but then he got quite a bad injury. I don't like the guy, but I wouldn't wish that on him. But in the build-up to this fight that never happened, there was some golden moments. he has got an ego. Again, I, 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 I... <laughs> Yeah, enough said. <laughs> Bevo telling Danny Aarons that he has an ego is like Hitler calling Stalin an awful bloke. It's the definition of hypocrisy. But to end it off, let's look at his latest move. You want the freshest bath towels? Yeah. Link down below. You get it's a three piece bath set. Oh, um, that's more than that. Well, we got it 10 piece. Did you not think to read about the products before you hit record? But genuinely, who's this supposed to appeal to? I'm convinced brands will just send influencers any old random shit just in the hopes that they'll say something nice about it. Because I highly doubt any Bevo enjoyers are in the lookout for any towels right now. Because let's be honest, they wouldn't be showering anyway. But yeah, I don't want to look at this man anymore. His face kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. Like and subscribe or Bevo will flog your bath towels.